Uh, I'm continuing on in the business consulting sense of things. Uh, I do business consulting in entrepreneurial endeavors. I hesitate going into uh, corporate organizations because I find that most of them are so intermeshed with bullshit that they really can't allow honesty within the system. The entrepreneur, on the other hand, is is bugged by the bottom line. If he doesn't produce and his bottom line doesn't produce, then he's going to be out of business. So he's got to look at the bottom line and that creates a certain amount of honesty. Uh, some corporations, uh, we worked one, my wife and I went and tried to work one, with one and uh, if the boss of this committee said a number, if I ask a question, you know, where's communication on a scale from 1 to 10, if he said 8, everybody in the table said 8. There was one instant where there was a young man, he said, it's not eight. He said, we're lucky if we're at a five. And then everybody, and he was the new kid, which is who they say are the paradigm shifters in an organization. But these guys didn't want their paradigm shift. They had worked years to get to their positions in their corporate, and they were willing to kiss ass and tell not the truth, not completely the truth, so that it looked good. Right? The young guy just was there. He didn't care. He hadn't been there that long. He said, no, I don't care. It's, it's, it's a five at best. So I don't work a lot in corporate structures. At least I work in a corporation if the corporation that was started, if the entrepreneur that started the corporation is still within the organization. You understand that if it's if it's a big corporation and it's a department, usually there's not much motivation to work with me. I demand honesty. I demand fun. I look, and if an entrepreneur needs to make a move, usually they can find a way to move it, uh, make that move. Um, we went into a organization in Las Vegas. The first meeting was tumultuous. It was chaotic. It was confrontational. And most of the employees said it was overdue. That the confrontations that happened and the, and the quitting by one of the top producers that happened, they said it was way overdue. Uh, I went back in six weeks later and a couple of things happened. I was paid just to walk through casinos in Vegas, a casino, where the meetings for the reps were going on. And I watched one of the employees, and I watched every time she had an interaction with one of the sales reps that everybody got dark. She got dark, the sales rep got dark, and it happened three or four times, and it was noticeable to me. But that was my job, to watch around and look. And so we went back to the office uh, the next morning, and I was talking with the entrepreneur, the woman entrepreneur who had hired me, and I said, you know, your front desk girl, she, I said, she's pissing people off. I said, I don't know what she's doing, but, and she said, well, she said, she, she said, she doesn't seem to want to come up to speed with us. She said, the organization since your first meeting is moving quite quickly. She said, it always has. She said, but it looks like it's been moving a lot faster, and it doesn't look like she wants to come with us. And I said, okay. Well, when we got to her office, there was a note on her door. And she said, let me address this. And it was from one of the top employees, her CFO. And he said, she said, let me just deal with this. And she went and talked to the CFO, came back, and sat down in her office. She said, this is how things are supposed to work, isn't it? And I said, um, I don't know. She said, well, this letter is a letter of resignation from the lady we were just talking about. I said, yeah, I think that, that is how things should work when you have an honest organization and people striving for a direction that are in alignment with the entrepreneur's dream. The people who don't want to be there won't hang on for job security. They'll look and think, okay, it's time for me to go someplace else. They'll hand in their letter of bread over, leather, uh, resignation, and it, it will happen. I've seen it many, many times. People come in and say, I just don't want to be here. And it's, for me, it's like, bye. I don't. If somebody doesn't want to work for me, I don't want them working for me. Have fun. www.micpeakperformance.com